After 574 days, the mother of all derbies returned to the Bundesliga calendar as Borussia Dortmund took on Ruhr rival Schalke. Dortmund had won their last three Rafia derby clashes with the Royal Blues. Schalke were aggressive and well organised from the get-go. Dortmund found early chances hard to come by. Daniel Marlon took aim in the sixth minute. The Dutchman has recently returned from injury. Schalke didn't have a single first-half shot, but did give Dortmund a scare when Jordan Larsen raced clear and was felled by the host's keeper, Alexander Meyer. Much to Meyer and Dortmund's relief, Larsen was offside, so there was no further punishment. A tight call and frustration in the end for Royal Blues coach Frank Kramer. Dortmund's best first-half moment came on 33 minutes as Marlon latched on to an excellent raking pass from Nico Schlosserbeck. Marlon's cross found Jude Bellingham. The Englishman denied by a sharp piece of goalkeeping from Alexander Schwolo. Goalless at the break after a tight and physical first half. The tension was rising on both sides. Marlon continued to dazzle, and just seconds after the restart, he was simply too hot to handle. But once again, Schwolo came to Schalke's rescue. Gaps were starting to open up for Dortmund's pacey forwards. And the breakthrough finally arrived on 79 minutes. The 17-year-old substitute, Yusufa Mukoko, became the youngest ever goalscorer in the Rafia derby. Another piece of folklore to add to the history of this incredible fixture. It's now four Rafia derby wins in a row for Dortmund, their best run since the 1960s. Mukoko the hero.